How about a Dark Horse clone video? How about a Dark Horse clone video? And I don't have, I don't have, sure I do, I don't have, but I do, Dark Horse clone 1595 from Fast Tech. This is one of the uh, more expensive clones of the Dark Horse on Fast Tech, just because um, it's machined a little better. It actually holds together a little better. So I opted for the one that will hold together. Now, this is dry right now, so I'm not going to vape it yet. Yet. And I did forget to bring a screwdriver over here. What do I do with that? I'll use the screwdriver out of the fogger container here. Got to use it eventually anyhow, right? Which side? Not that side. This side. I'm just going to... i got to move my wick a little bit. But, uh... Because I goofed it up when I was fiddling. Now, what I got in here is a twisted... Jeez, can't even see that. A twisted... Maybe if I pull it out. 24 gauge. Six wraps. Around a 3 millimeter screwdriver. And this is what the Dark Horse is made for. The posts on it, I'm sure you've seen other videos, the posts on it are just huge. They're huge. They are. They're massive. I did notice on this particular clone, you can kind of see that right there. The uh, negative and positive on this side are just a butt fraction away from each other. I mean, you can't even get the screwdriver down in there. To, uh, space them out but there's just like a few pieces of papers worth oops sorry of space in between there you can just barely make that out use the wall behind me should have turned the brightness up on my video huh let's see will it do it while I'm messing with it nope oh well we'll save that for the next one you know just roll with it and uh, what the Dark Horse comes with came in this handy dandy box from Fast Tech. You get grub screws, you get uh, the Allen wrench, the O rings, a couple pieces of silica wick that have pre wrapped coils on them. You also get hard to get this stuff out of here a white and a black top piece for a normal 510 drip tip and this drip tip comes with it also this is what comes on it standard right away right out of the box nice good size airflow okay you also get this chuff style yeah, like that, or this white one, like that, and you can go over a million, there's a million airflow options on here, I'm running it at wide open, you can see different airflow selection, stick the ring on, you can flip the ring upside down, um, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it, I'm going to put it back on its widest airflow. I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible because everybody's seen a Dark Horse video. Now, this is my first Dark Horse, but I have built three of them now. Three different ones. Three different clones. As far as I know, this is the only one straight from Fast Tech. Um, the other two were Ebay's. Okay? The other two were Ebay's. And they all have a similar issue. Take this off of here. We're going to put it back on the SIG because I don't feel like running a .2 on my mech mod. Sometimes it just doesn't feel good in the hand. If you know what I'm saying. Hot, hot, hot. So, 
And I've noticed running this on my SIG, we're going to bump her right up to 100 because that's, that's a dark horse, man. The dark horse is made for power, right? It's got giant post holes. It wants a low build. It wants some heat. It wants to go. It wants to play. And that's just how it is. Now, what do you want to run in here? How about... How about some ESP pink drink? Let's run some ESP pink drink through here at 7030. And uh, being a CLT V2 Plus user, I have the problem with the dark horse that I overdrip all the time. All the time. I overdrip. Now this is a 7030 in here, and I believe I'm running at uh, 6 milligram because I ordered that for my tank, not for a dripper. It's a really hot bait at 100 watts, and I'm only running 4.8 volts. But at 6 milligram, that's way more than I want for the dripper um, and the other one, juice in front of me is also six and another juice in front of me is five so nothing I have in front of me is going to do this justice it's holding up quite nicely is the flavor there? no it's a dark horse um, and if I want flavor out of it, I would change the build in it, and I would cut the airflow down a little bit, and then I would have flavor out of it. I know that because I've built one that way already. This is for chucking clouds, and I don't have my cloud chucking juice in front of me. Why would I do that? Well, why not? It does produce some really nice, thick dense clouds and you can't see me there it goes it's a dark horse now the issue arrives with the dark horse in the positive screws all three of them that I've built have been exactly identical when it comes to the positive screws that are in it Sand them down. Every one of them is has bad machining. None of them are nice and flat. So when you're screwing them down, they'll catch the wire, and then they won't catch the wire, and then they'll catch the wire again because they're off a little bit. I sanded mine down using some 80 grit. Just smooth the bottom of them out. They work perfectly fine. They're nice and smooth. You screw them down. You see the other side of the wire tweak up. It's tight. That's it. No snappage. Good to go. Alright? Sand down your positive screws if you're going to use the positive screws. Or take a little Dremel. Something. Smooth those puppies out. Because three, three Dark Horse clones that I've grabbed, or whatever, the one that I bought and the two that I built for my buddies, all did the same thing. The ends of them are not good. Put it that way. They're just not good. Okay. Okay. That's another look at a dark horse. We've seen it. We know what it is. I don't want to dwell too much on it. It's just for clouds, bro. For clouds. If you want to flavor it, you put a different build in than what I have in it, which is twisted 24 gauge, two strands. I only went two strands this time. Two strands of twisted 24. If you want a flavor build, use some 28 or something. Use a Clapton coil. Use something else other than what I put in here. This is for just straight cloud chucking enjoyment. That's all this is for. 
you're not going to get a lot of flavor out of it, especially at 100 watts. I can probably go down. Um, I can go down to 50. I can go down to 50. That's only 3.3 volts. It is a little cooler. Still, the flavor is not there. It's wide open. Still puts out a decent cloud. Slightly more flavor, but that's not what that build is about. So if you want more, change the build, cut the airflow down a little bit, and use the standard drip tip. Flavor will be there. That's how you do it, if that's what you want to do. Is that what you want to do? I don't know. If you have one, it's yours. Build it how you want. You all have fun now, because I know I will.